high of 27 and a low of 18. I just got out the water, had a shower, and now I'm gonna get ready for work. It was really fun out there. The GoPro is broken at the moment, so I don't really have any videos of it. I might insert some clips of yesterday afternoon surf. There's not much going on in the water, so Nikara has come up with this brilliant idea that we're gonna try and have a beer while surfing a wave. What a beautiful afternoon. how I stay on track and how I keep my life together and try to keep everything running smoothly throughout the week. Obviously it is not easy to stay on track 24-7 and it's almost unrealistic. If you have a plan or a goal in your life and you want to implement it, you got to stay disciplined. The best advice that I came across that's different for everybody but Trust me, it's just to focus on one goal per day. It doesn't sound like much, but honestly, when I have three or four things that I'm trying to do each day, none of them stay a priority because there's so many different things going on in my mind that I'm like, nah, maybe I'll do this or maybe I'll do that, or it just doesn't end up happening every day. What I've been doing for the past 20-ish days is prioritizing body movement. So. Every single day I have to do at least, or my personal goal is to do at least 10 minutes, that's all, of some sort of dedicated body movement. So that could be gym, yoga, running, walking, anything. Just as long as it's dedicated time that I'm putting towards my body moving that day. I like to log my progress in my diaries, or my journals, or in my notes, in my um, tablet or phone just because I think it's super satisfying to tick things off at the end of the uh, day or whatnot and fill the boxes. But also it helps you keep on track so you know how many days you've done and when the challenge is up. And um, yeah, just keep track of how you're doing. If you wanted to join me in this challenge, comment down below what you're going to be doing for the next 30 days. 